proud to introduce our Vice Mayor, John Tornga. We are fortunate here in Dunedin because two of our four, of our four commissioners are veterans. John is a veteran of the Vietnam War, Rob Walker, fellow Navy veteran, spent his career in the submarine force. But today I want to introduce John Torgo, who will be introducing the commissioners and giving us a proclamation for today. And I would ask that Rachel, our commander of the VFW, as long as the officers come up to receive the proclamation. But as an introduction to our vice mayor, John Torga is a Vietnam veteran, served with the 1st Marine Division, part of his time as a platoon commander, part of his time as a company executive officer, and the final third as a company commander, all the time in battle zones in Vietnam. So it's with great honor that I introduce the Vice Mayor of the City of Dunedin, John Torga. National Veterans War Veterans Day. Wow. Is that something? Hoorah, I said. Each of us had different assignments, different experiences, different memories. I, as a Vietnam veteran, your elected members of the Dunedin City Commission and the City of Dunedin, salute each of you for your service to our nation. Semper Fi, and again, hoorah. 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 I would like to introduce my fellow elected members of our Dunedin City Commission for the reading of the proclamation. If you would come forward, please. I also want to note that we have the former mayor of the city of Dunedin, as well as our city commissioner, Dave Eggers, in support of the reading of the proclamation standing back there. So, we have Commissioner Mo Freeney. We have Commissioner Robert Walker. Mayor Julie Wachowski is unable to be with us today due to a previous commitment. Our National Vietnam Veterans Day Proclamation. Morning. Whereas in 2017, the Vietnam War Veterans Recognition Act was signed into law, designated March 29th of each year as National Vietnam War Veterans Day. And whereas 50 years ago, on March 29, 1973, the last U.S. troops left South Vietnam. So emotional. We cherish this opportunity to recall with humility the sacrifices <laughs> our veterans made for our freedom and our nation's strength. We salute our brave Vietnam veterans who in service to our nation and in defense of liberty fought gallantly against the spread of communism and defended the freedom of the Vietnamese people. And Go, Mo. Whereas during this commemoration, we embrace our responsibility to help our Vietnam veterans heal from the heavy toil of war. We remember the more than 58,000 whose names are memorialized on a black granite wall in Washington, D.C. For having borne the heaviest cost of the war, pay tribute to the patriots who suffered as prisoners of war, and we stand steadfast in our commitment not to rest until we account for the more than 1,200 heroes who have not yet returned to U.S. soil. And whereas today we recognize and honor all who answered our nation's call to duty and with conviction pledge our enduring respect, our continuing care, and our everlasting commitment to all Vietnam veterans. And now therefore I, John Toringa, by virtue of the authority invested, by the city of Dunedin, Florida, and on behalf of the entire city commission, do hereby proclaim Wednesday, March 29, 2023, as National Vietnam War Veterans Day in Dunedin, Florida, 
and encourage our fellow citizens to honor, recognize, and thank those who answered the call to serve along with their families and loved ones. Would those receiving this proclamation on behalf of all those who serve please step forward? I'll say one more time. Semper Fi, but most importantly, hoorah! Hoorah! Don't get me started. In 2012, by presidential proclamation, any soldier that served in the military during the Vietnam years, regardless of his location and station during those years, qualified for a Vietnam service lapel pin. Today, we are honored to have one of the true guardian angels that's going to be here to present the awards. Commander Mal Klingon, the Military Order of Purple Heart chapter from Dunedin, the JFK chapter 1963, which by the way is the first chapter in Florida of the Purple Hearts. Mal and the other members of the Purple Hearts will be giving the lapel pins. You should know that I asked Mal to come up here and talk. True to his spirit, true to his character, what he said is, I want to see, shake the hand of every one of the veterans and I want to say something special directly to them. So this is how we're going to do it. Paul, in a couple seconds, is going to be playing the service anthems. Anybody who has not, to date, received a lapel pin, when you hear your service anthem being played, please stand up, walk in front of the stage so you can be recognized, and then go over to the Purple Hearts table to meet with Mal, have him shake your hand, and receive your pin. So, ladies and gentlemen, our service animals.
This is amazing. So exciting. You know, I don't want to rush this because this is such an important part of this program. So what we are going to do is we have Mike Hagen playing a very special song. And then if there are still people online, and again, please, this is all about you. So we're not to rush it, but at the end of the song, we'll go right back into the program. But please, anybody that has not gotten their pin, who has earned the pin during your service, please come up and get one. And again, I'm so proud to have Mal Klinu, who the United States Army, he was a medic in Vietnam. If you know anything about medics, they never stop taking care of their veterans. So thank you, Mel. Drive them. They will be coming up to get their purple. Come on. 